Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you a cool new multitasking mod that lets you launch apps from the edge of your screen. Now the Galaxy S7 comes with a cool feature that lets you launch apps from the edge of your screen. It's a fluid and natural experience, so we've seen a few apps pop up lately that have similar functionality. One of the best ones I've come across so far is called Swiftly Switch from developer High Wind. Not only does this one let you launch apps from the edge of your screen, but it does it with a beautiful arced interface, and it puts a focus on multitasking for power users. There's a limited free version of Swiftly Switch available on the Google Play Store, and the Pro version will normally run you $1.99. I'm going to show you how the Pro version works, so let's go ahead and get started. Now first up, for Swiftly Switch to work properly, you'll have to grant it a pair of additional permissions. So from the main menu here, select this Step 1 Usage Stat option, then press Go to Setting. From here, tap the Swiftly Switch option in this list, then enable access on the following screen. Once you've taken care of that, head back to Swiftly Switch and select Step 2 Accessibility. From here, tap Go to Setting, then select the app from this following menu. Finally, enable the Accessibility feature for Swiftly Switch, then you'll be ready to customize your new Edge Launcher. From here, this Edge 1 option is for your primary trigger area, so leave that one enabled, then press the gear icon. Next, you've got some options to choose how it works and set the trigger position, and beyond that, you can use these sliders to adjust the size of the trigger area itself, which is represented by the pink bar. Once you've got all that set up to your liking though, go ahead and press OK. From here, it would be a good idea to understand how all this works before we get into everything else. Normally, when you swipe in from the edge of your screen, you'll see an arc of icons that represent your most recently used apps. If you drag your thumb to hover over that arc for a second or two, you'll then see a grid of apps. These are called your favorite shortcuts. So to customize the apps that appear there, tap the edit button next to the favorite shortcut option. On this next menu, you can adjust the grid size and the spacing, but the main thing you want to do is make sure to fill out your favorite apps list. So tap the plus buttons one by one. Then on the following screen, pick an app to fill that spot. Just repeat this same process for each of the slots and your favorite shortcuts will be ready to use. Then, like I said, the first tier of your edge launcher is normally occupied by recently used apps. But if you'd rather have that arc filled up with a preset list of apps, tap the edit button next to the pin apps to recent option. From here, you can batch select a set of apps. And when you're done there, you can use this next menu to reorder them. Beyond that, there are several different options for tweaking the look and feel of your new Edge Launcher. Highlights here are haptic feedback, the ability to pick an icon pack, as well as options for tweaking the colors. Once you've got all that stuff set up to your liking though, you're ready to try out Swiftly Switch. From any screen, all you have to do is swipe in from the trigger area, then you'll see the arc, where all you'd have to do is drag your finger to an icon and let go to launch that app. In addition to that, if you drag your finger outside of this arc, you'll see navigation buttons that work a lot like Paranoid Android's Pi feature, which is actually pretty awesome. But to top that all off, if you hover your finger over any of the app icons, your favorite apps list will come up, where you can launch practically any app. So even though there are some similar apps on the market, I don't think there are any that have more features and capabilities than Swiftly Switch. Always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.